I'm here at Bohem Mixology Bar in Catania, and I have two lessons for you today. One, we haven't really talked much about beverage photography yet, and beverage photography is very specialized, but all food photographers at some point or another have to do it. Uh, the second is, we're trying to build a proposal for this business to get a book deal. And the way you do that is you take a lot of photos that happen to be very specific to this business. So what makes it unique, what makes it different, what makes it special, how beautiful the space, how unique the owners are, how great the product is. These are the things that we're gonna to photograph today. Dude, what are you doing to me? I want to introduce you to the three owners of this business. Bruno, Salvo, and Sir Barry. So, Sir Barry is the, uh, is the logo and the mascot of this place. Probably a little bit more of an owner, right guys? <laughs> If I'm your photographer, the thing that I want to do is I want to get to know both of you. I want to know what's important to you and the things that makes your business different, unique. So tell me a little bit about what made you form a business well, like this? Well, what we basically do is selling an experience. We never sell just a cocktail. We just work with no menu, no cocktail list. We always try to build up a cocktail together with our guests. Excellent. I can't wait to get started with you guys. So the first shot I want to make is of you guys in your environment with him. I've got the guys in basic positions and I want to just get them set up and then just let them be themselves because these guys know how to be in front of a camera and they're comfortable and they're going to make great pictures. What I want to do first is I want to go to portrait mode. I want to make sure I get the most cinematic look in this room. So that's going to give us that opportunity. So I'm going to slide over to portrait mode and I also want to check where my f-stop is. So right now I'm at 2.8. Great place to start, we'll start right there. I want you to just make sure you're making eye contact with my lens, and that's right. Salvo lifting his head like that really helps me because he's wearing the hat and it's really part of his personality, but if he puts his head down, that brim is gonna cast shadows on his face and that's not a great situation. And one more time, vertically, a little more context. I'm going to back out just a little bit so I don't lose their arms. I'm also going to get a little heroic here and I'm going to drop down just a little bit and come up on them. Tilt your head up, Salvo, just a little bit. There we go. There's your classic pose. Okay, I'm going to get in a little tighter. Now, Salvo, I'm going to need you to get a your head a little closer. Maybe you even scrunch down a little bit and then tilt up so I can see your face. Look at that shot. What did Austin Powers do? He threw the camera over his shoulder and said, we're done. Awesome, guys. Thank Terrific you. job. Thank you. All right. We got so many great shots in such a short period of time because I had great models. We took our time to set our shot and I communicated my needs and the needs of the space and we had a great conversation so that we can make great portrait imagery. We're on to beverage photography. What we're here to do at this point is make these cocktails absolutely shine. There are two things I want to talk about right now is that first, this bar happens to serve during the day and there is a significant amount of daylight on this side of the room. To represent this properly, I want to have an opportunity to shoot at least one of the cocktails in daylight. This one I have set up and specifically asked for something that matches the color tone of the room behind it because I intend to use the architectural elements in this room and the color tones in this room mixed with the daylight to make a shot that actually feels like it's happening in real time. So I want to try something while I'm here. Because I intend to use the whole environment here, I can actually get a little bit further away from this cocktail, which may enable me to use portrait mode. So I want to switch over to portrait mode and I want to start to frame. I want to push my tray out into the field a little bit because I want to lose the edge of the marble table. That also gives me a little bit more breathing room. Mm. 
Now what I want to do is add a little more shadowing to this frame. So I've readjusted my position. I've decided that I'm still going to stick with a low angle table shot, but this time I'm going to go deeper into the room and pick up a little bit different context. There's a bookcase back there and there's a little bit more color. I'm going to go to a 2x lens this time and that's a really nice frame. Line up and take a shot. And we have a really beautiful daylight example for our proposal. Before we get started on the next picture, which is gonna be an action shot of Salvo making a cocktail, there are a couple of things I wanna address. First, we crafted the light in this room by turning off certain light bulbs and creating a stage for him to be on. That's really important because the lighting in here was very competing. We have lights on the walls, we have lights on the ceiling, we have lights hanging down on these pendants. So that's first. Secondly, what I wanna talk about is that I know his movements. I've watched him make cocktails. I've been in this bar a few times just to get a sense of this place. And one of the things that's important is to know that he's very kinetic. He moves really fast. So in order to capture all of that movement, I'm probably gonna to need to be in burst mode, but I'm also gonna to have to predict his movements. Salvo, are you ready for me? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, so let me get started. Yeah, sure. Thank you, Salvo. You're welcome. So we probably got seven or eight different compositions, all from his process, and I think we have plenty to choose from for the proposal for our pitch. We started here today in daylight, and now I had to wait for the sun to go down because the shot I want to make last is a little moodier and I wanted the room light to come down. As you can see, I have a lot of practical lights around me and that's going to create a problem. So this one in particular is really going to impact the shot I want to make. So I'm going to turn this one off. Here at the piano, which happens to be an iconic sort of element here at the bar. Uh, I want to include this. I want to get a drink on the piano keys. It's different, but it's also something that people who come here will relate to. It's something that they feature in their Instagram feed. It's something that people who come here understand and know. So seeing a drink on the keyboard is going to be something that really speaks to this place. This is a small lighting setup by Platypod. Really inexpensive, easy to just take with me wherever I go. So when I have these kinds of scenarios, I have professional lighting that I can bring with me. So it's really, really helpful. When you're working with cocktails, especially ones that have ice in them, the shelf life is very short. So you have to kind of make sure your shot is already set up and you know what you want. Take a test shot with a dummy and then bring it in. So I have the shot set up. I have my drink over here and I'm gonna lay it carefully on the keys. And this is gonna be a little bit of a balancing act, so you have to be gentle. So I have the light raking in from left to right, so you can see down here in the lower right corner that I have this sort of uh, light bleed that's coming through. It's reflecting through the liquid and casting onto the keys. That really shows directionality of the light. The next thing I wanna do is frame it in a way that gives me the context that it's sitting on a piano keyboard and give it a little bit of breathing room. 
I'm gonna center justify this shot first, take it. And then I'm gonna move it over just a little bit and take it again. And I'm gonna go up over the top to see if I can catch our friend Sir Barry's face in these shots. I'm gonna adjust my exposure just a little bit. I wanna bring it down and up just to see if it changes significantly. One of the things that's important in this situation is to know the capabilities of the tool you're using. And I know that if I expose this a certain way, I'm gonna have a lot of flexibility in post-production. I know I want a darker background in this situation, but I also know that what I'm seeing in camera can be adjusted. So I'm gonna make this shot knowing I have lots of flexibility, particularly with the DNG RAW file, the Apple Pro RAW that we're shooting through, that's gonna help us immensely in post-production. So that cast is really beautiful. I wanna make sure I have that focus on Barry's face. I got my keyboard, I have plenty of context here. So with this shot, we have two iconic elements of this establishment. The piano that everybody knows and loves and the face of their mascot on that ice cube. I can't wait to show the owners these pictures. I think they're gonna love them. We had a really productive day here at Bohem Mixology Bar. We made great photos for our proposal. The only things left to do are make a cookbook and have a drink. This video is a free preview of the iPhone Food Photography online course. In this course, you'll discover everything you need to know to start your new adventure as a food photographer. We will go over the foundations of food photography and how to use them in a variety of applications, from advertising to stock photography. We will meet incredible people, and with them, we'll explore Sicilian food, traditions, and much, much more. If you'd like to learn more about food photography, please take a look at the full version of iPhone food photography. You'll find the link in the description right next to this video. So join the movement by clicking on that link right now, and I'll see you inside the full version of the course.